Welcome everybody to part two of Tough Love for Your Computer. I'm Mike Lucasio and I help people maintain their computer and repair their computer. And in this session, I'm going to talk about online safety. In the first session, I talked about safety in your home or office. This is about online safety. And then the third part will be about computer performance online, making your computer work better online. So well, if you're new here, so make sure you subscribe. Welcome to my channel. And uh, let's just start it out. Get right into it. Being safe online. What you have to do to be safe online, you have to have antivirus software and you have to have the latest definition files. If you don't have antivirus software, go online and get a free version. There's AVG, there's also a VAST free version for your computer. Um, so make sure you get Windows 10 version if you're on 10, Windows 7 version if you're on 7. I recommend a VAST, I use that. I've been using that for 20 years and it does a good job. You don't have to pay these companies $50 a month or $100 a year for a paid antivirus. I can tell you that the free ones are just as good and they've been proven to work well. So uh, get yourself an antivirus. Also, make sure you do all your Windows updates. That's very important. To stay safe online is you got to update your Windows. So go to Windows Update, click Automatic, click Update Windows, and then you'll want to update your Windows and get all the updates. That's what you got to do. The next thing will be if you get emails from people you don't know or instant messages with links, don't click on those links. People are trying to get into your computer and get into your financial information. So if people send you links saying you're going to make money or you won something, um, just click off it. If you get a big pop-up or something saying your computer, I found a lot of uh, problems, click here and we'll fix it, click off it. Don't click it because it's going to give you a virus or mess up your computer, so you don't need that. If you get a pop-up saying this is a registry cleaner, click here, or you need to download this, click here, don't click on it because it's going to mess up your computer. A lot of these things are... Um, just spyware and junk just to mess up your computer or to try to get into your information. So don't do any of these things. And I want you to be safe online. So to be safe online, you can't worry about what other people are popping up um, and telling you to do. And none of it is true. I can guarantee you that. None of it is true. And if you're not sure what it is, send me a text or uh, comment on this uh, video that I'm going to post on YouTube eventually and tell me what it says. But I can tell you that you don't need to click on it because it's a scam. Anything about money or any other garbage. And you also need a program. Listen carefully. This is a program you definitely must have and it's also free. And there is also a trial version. I think it's $20 a year to buy it, but it will be the best investment you made on your computer if you buy it. <coughs> Excuse me. It's called Malware Bytes Free Version or Trial Version. And make sure you get that. It's spelled M A L W R A R E B Y T E S. And do a search for the trial version. And you need that program. Because all the junk that you get on your computer, spyware, viruses, and all kinds of infections and things, all you got to do is have that program. It'll up when you when you hit run, it'll update itself, and it will also allow you to remove a lot of junk at the end of the scan. It'll do a scan and tell you how much stuff you have on there. So you want to get malware bytes free version, okay? So get that and. Uh, you know, part of it, um, being safe online is not just um, people trying to scam you and things like that, which that's a big part, and they're always trying to do it in email. So just get rid of your email, go to your spam folder, and delete everything that's in there. Only answer stuff 
that you uh, know people. And then there's a scam. There's another scam going around where people try to uh, go in your friends' instant message on Facebook and things, social media, saying it's them, and they're telling you, "Oh, did you hear? You want all this money, and you got to send money to get it." You know that's a scam. I always say, oh, "Where do I know you from?" And then they stop bothering you because they know that you don't know them. They're just hijacking your friends' instant message to try to get money from you. Don't listen to anybody on the internet trying to get money from you for anything or telling you your computer's in bad shape. It's all a scam. And talk to me about it if you don't, if you get anything and I'll help you out. Um, so don't worry about it. And if you want, um, I'm just going to do a quick plug for my Patreon. If you want to join my Patreon, I can build up your YouTube business. If you're a small YouTuber, I'll give you shout outs. Just wanted to throw that in. So being safe online um, is a combination of having these programs to protect you, antivirus and spyware remover, which is the malware remover. Don't download anything else. No, everybody telling you to get this, get that. Um, I've been using malware bytes for over 20 years. That's the best program out there. You can use the free one and you can turn that into a trial and it will get rid of all the junk on your computer. You do that about once a month. And, uh, you know, be careful who you're talking to because people are on there. There's a lot of people on there scamming people out of money. And not only that, they're trying to break in your computer and get your passwords um, to see, uh, to get your credit card information so they can uh, start charging things on your credit card or what you buy online or what you use and uh, things like that to try to scam you. So I also recommend changing all your passwords every six months. And that's your router password. That's underneath your router, you change that. And also your banking and uh, Facebook or whatever social media you have, make sure you write it down, but change it every six months. And don't use like one, two, three, four, five or your kids' names or password one two three make it something that doesn't make any sense but you have it written down and that will help you so i hope you get um, a lot of tips out of here that are going to help you and i hope you apply these things that i'm telling you and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe um, any questions you want to ask me i love comments i love to answer all comments from subscribers of mine and a non-subscribers too, so just answer, ask me any question, I'll be glad to help you, whether it's with your computer or just a general question. Oh, you have a great day. This is Mike Wicasio, and I will see you in the next segment of the video, which will be third version of the video segment, and it will be how to make your computer run better online. And that's Malwarebytes right behind me, so check that out.